What can we say about the future? Well, the only thing we know for sure is that we do not know how it will turn out. Still, when designing products, we have to keep in mind that when they have been used and will be looped round again, be it reuse, repair, remanufacturing or recycling, they are supposed to fit the system which is in place at that time, not today. Some examples of changes which can have an impact on how your product should be designed are new legislation. For example, the list of banned or controlled hazardous substances might change, leading to materials which are commonly used today becoming forbidden. Infrastructure for business or transportation might change, having an impact on the possibility or cost of taking back products. Production technology might develop, for example, by increased automation. This could lead to an increased need for reference point and data on products or components in order to make them feasible to remanufacture. New recycling processes might have been developed. One way to handle the future uncertainties is to build possible future scenarios. The main idea is to think, what if, for certain trends. This is something which is very good to do as a teamwork, preferably in a group of people with different backgrounds. My experience is that it is much easier to agree on what if scenarios than on this is how we think the future will be. Start by looking at possible trends. Trends that might have an influence on you, your company, or your products are, for example, climate change affecting the cost of clean energy, material constraints leading to high costs, lack of water or too much with higher sea levels, growing population, technology developments, changes in policy, increased customer demands for sustainability, globalization, national protectionism, and other things. Choose some trends of importance for you and put them on perpendicular axis in a diagram. For example, changes in policy versus increased customer demands for sustainability on one of the axes. Now place globalization versus national protectionism on the other. This leads to four fields, A, B, C, and D. Now the task. How will the future look like? How does that influence the demands that your product has to fulfill in order to fit the new systems? Will there be a totally new way of transporting things? Will the materials in your product become even more valuable in the future and therefore even more important to extract from the product? Will the materials mix become more complex? Will the policies encourage or hinder movement of products between countries? Will people buy things abroad or from the neighborhood? How does that influence possibilities to transport and so forth? There are endless of possibilities. My experience is that using scenarios is a good way to identify possible futures for your product and thus give important ideas about how they should be designed. It is also a fun exercise, actually. Finally, I want to say, don't be afraid of the future. Prepare for it.